Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. Many blessings to you all. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and a wonderful holiday if you are part of the Labor Day festivities, even if it's just having a wonderful day. I don't care if it was a holiday or not. I hope you had a great day. And we're going to make this one great as well with our beautiful combined energy as we wrestle up our, uh, <laughs> wrestle and wrangle our very, very, very positive energy and, and being relentlessly optimistic. We're going to manifest our beautiful life at, right before our very own eyes. That's the beautiful thing is we get to be in the amazement of receiving what we talk about here. So when we fix it in our mind and we set our goals, we release all that came before and we use the beautiful energy of the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and then the energy of absolute manifestation. We're going to start our reading now. If you'd like to have a private session with me, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And there's plenty to choose from. Check out the website. There's all kinds of cool stuff on there. So, ooh, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So the Eight of Pentacles in this energy is talking about mastering a new skill or being the apprentice to something. Now listen, we all can do any kind of creative thing that will help us to master a skill. When we're in a place of meditation, we can use painting and, and music and different kinds of things that allow us to facilitate the concentration that it takes to be creative. And the universe will assist you all the way through it. So this is a place of becoming either mastering energy or, an, or a skill. It is very solid energy. So the Eight of Pentacles usually has someone with money um, dealing with a specific piece that allows them to receive all the abundance of the additional things that come in then we have the seven of cups and that's the energy of, of blessings and abundance you know I call this my dump truck load of blessings and since this is the September 7th reading we're going to take this as a sign <laughs> the dump truck has our address and is in wet in, in route now ready it has been dispatched it is on its way and the blessings are upon us now I don't know if any of you heard the one I did talking about, you know how I talk about it being a, a dump truck load of pennies. Well, a dump truck load of pennies, my darlings, is $849,000. So yeah, we'll take that. That's 12 by 12 by 12, wide, high, and deep. If that's how many pennies you can cram in there, that's how much it, it actually comes out to. So hey! Dump truck of pennies ain't looking too sap shabby right now, is it? My tongue is getting tied, but there you go. <laughs> I would be tongue-tied if, if... I will be... Let's see. See? We have to pay attention to how we say it. I will be tongue-tied when my dump truck of abundance shows up in my front yard. So here we go. Thank you, angels. Archangels. Divine, pure, white light. Ooh, divine spirit. Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So that second cut card was the star card. And that's your soul's desire being granted or your soul's wish being granted. Beautiful energy receiving that. So let's lay out our three cards. If y'all can hear my phone buzzing in the background, I apologize. I ran the coupon again and there's a lot of people <laughs> booking readings. So the emperor is the energy here and that's the Aries Major Arcana. But as the emperor, it is a very solid energy of something showing up fully formed, ready to take, you know, take action or be taken action on. So... The emperor is the masculine of the universe itself, which means something that is already finished or complete and ready now to take hold. So, 
we have communication, which is the energy of being very much in a place of speaking your abundance, speaking your destiny, speaking your beautiful, best possible life into existence. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. Listen, your voice is the biggest manifesting tool you have. Your thought is your thoughts are also there because they are the spiritual voice. That is, that when you're connected to source, you are very much in that place. But speaking them out, you have a voice for a reason. That's why you know you. you some people can communicate telekinetically. However, vocally is the is the most prominent. Now, speaking them into existence is also thinking them into existence because thoughts are things and they all carry vibration. Just remember, be careful what you're communicating. Pay attention to how you say it. There's always another way to say it, especially if... Uh, you want to bring it in to where you're not speaking a long time into it. Remember that. When you're speaking your future, just like you heard me change what I said, when I receive my dump truck load of blessings, not if. Um, here is the visualization card. I make mental pictures of my goals that are simple and to the point. That's absolutely true. You don't have to tell it all the details. You just have to know what your ultimate goal is, right? So as you receive the ultimate goal and know that it is done in your heart and visualize that it is done, it starts to create a, a vacuum in the universe where it has to take action to make that true for you. So we'll take that. If you believe the big Merkaba, that is... The energy of Metatron's cube. And Metatron is an archangel that was ascended from Enoch, a human, and is the right hand of God or the scribe of God. A very important role in the angelic realm. Also, that cube contains the entire blueprint of all life, all existence, all things. Ever, 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 all things. Ooh, universal love. This is purdy. This is very, very colorful and exciting energy. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. This is where, you might as well say, divine love. This is where your heart can be filled by watching... Uh, a beautiful outcome of someone who's worked hard to get it or see someone who deserves something amazing get it and just being in a place of allowing yourself to feel the love for yourself as well as all others around you I know it sounds frou-frou but if you're in this stream of this kind of frequency love is one of the highest frequencies there is and that is the energy that allows you to move through all kinds of issues. If you can feel love and safe and be in a place of giving that energy out as well, receiving it and being a conduit for it, you can't, there's no way you can go wrong with that. Divine peace and harmony surround and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. I am at peace. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people, myself included. I accept my uniqueness. This is the energy of where you have to accept yourself for who you are and don't try to be like anyone else. You are made different for a reason we all have differences but that's where it everyone is different that's why you can't really pinpoint one thing about a person because we all have something there is um, there is no competition and no comparison for we are all different and meant to be that way I am special and wonderful I love myself I've always known <laughs> I was different I accept my uniqueness, absolutely. 
it took a while for me to figure out how to best um, guide my week, my 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 differences. Right, being in my my energy of being very different and and psychic and just not marching to the same drummers everyone else. Not that I didn't have rhythm. I can dance. It's just that I wasn't on the same same wavelength as most people. There is no competition and no comparison for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. So, being in that energy, you can't go wrong. So we got a solid love energy going over here. Being in the energy of manifesting over here, staying in your belief, and then the universe showing up saying, here it is. So let's see what is. There's the Eight of Pentacles, which is the energy of being very much in a place of creating and learning. Remember, we have that in the cut cards energy, so there it is. Very much in a place of mastering something that allows you to have the advantage of whatever the experience is and abundance coming in through that mastering of that skill. The Knight of Swords coming in like a lightning strike. Very fast energy. Literally like a lightning strike. So a divine idea, uh, inspiration, news, a divine event. Something that kind of shakes it up for you. For you. It makes it in a good place for you. And here's the Hanged Woman. We love this Cirque du Soleil wonderful red-headed diva who's hanging upside down in her yoga swing looking at the world from another angle remember the hanged man's energy is about going to the place of enlightenment so rising up into that crown chakra is the whole enchilada here now i'm going to give away something to you guys because um, i was talking about the coupon i normally only share coupons with my people who have purchased readings from me so if you have been waiting for your chance at getting a discount on a reading you can have 20 percent off by booking a reading and selecting it says have a coupon you have to put in the coupon code and it is Labor Day 21. Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking of last year's code. Labor Day 21. You will get 20% off for uh, any reading you have up until the 15th of September to book it. Only one person per, per email address. So um, if you want to give it to your friends, if they want to get a reading as well, that's how you can get 20% off of any of my services. So I'll say it one more time again. Labor Day 21, all one word. So I think I used all uppercase as well. I don't think that matters though. Just remember when you're in the payment screen, you'll click the blue word that says have a coupon and you can book a reading with 20% off. And if something goes wrong, email me and we'll talk. Thank you so much, my friends. Have a beautiful day. I hope you can take advantage of the coupon. Namaste.